All right, so we just have had a successful honey harvest with our own hives of bees and checked on that swarm we most recently caught and it's doing great. And then today Rose sees a message on Facebook that in our town that somebody has spotted a swarm of bees and they gave us the location for it. Um, it's been a couple hours since uh, we've heard anything, but I'm going to go check it out and see if there's a swarm of bees to catch. Okay, so here I am where we were told there was a swarm of bees, and guess what? There is a swarm right here, so close to the ground. I am by myself. I don't have Rose assisting me. I'm going to capture this swarm of bees and take it home. Same plan as like we had the second time we caught that swarm uh, where it was really low to the ground and I just swung the branch down over the box um, swift and forceful and they all mostly went in at that time I'm gonna repeat that process here check it out I got my setup here I got my box this is a nuke box I have set up directly underneath the swarm I've got some duct tape ready to cover the entrance and I've got a cargo strap to tie down the box once I have the lid on and then I have a nylon mesh bag that I'm going to place over all of it when it's all packaged up so I can take it home safely. We're about 10 minutes from the house. Alright, I don't know how good of an angle I've got here. I've got cars driving by me on every street, so trying to wait till there's not really a loud car. This might be hard to do. I'm not sure if you can see everything good. It's really bright. I had a hard time setting up this shot, but hopefully you see everything. Got my swarm here. I'm just going to try to get it into the box, uh, deciding whether to just shake it down forcefully or pick up my box and try to scoop them in. I, I think I got the queen in the box. It looks like all the bees are trying to go in. But I'm not 100% sure, so we'll just see. I think I've got the queen in. And the reason I think that is you see all these bees are marching all these bees are marching and they're all going in so I'm gonna give them a few minutes uh, might try to speed them up a little bit but uh, yeah it looks like I might have just got us another swarm I got most of them in I believe 
I've already put the top on the box and I've just got this residual crew here and it's taken them a while because I have an entrance reducer on there so they're having to take turns and file in slowly but I'm pretty sure I got the queen and I'm pretty sure I have most of the bees in this box I'm just waiting on them to go in so I can tape it up and put all my straps on and get it home Okay, I'm satisfied that I have most of the bees. I really, really tried to be patient. I really tried to wait to get as many as I possibly could, but it, it got to a point where I've just had to go ahead and close it off. So yeah, there are unfortunately some left leftovers, uh, but not a whole, not too, not too, too many, I don't think. So I got my box all tied up and taped up and bagged up so hopefully there's no loose bees that follow me into the car um, and if there are hopefully they stay in their swarm state and don't try anything crazy while I'm driving so let me get this box to the house and we'll set it up at its new forever home so these bees were in this tree over here and I caught them and uh, I noticed when I was leaving somebody had told us that uh, the bees came from this building a lot. They've, they've been here forever. There's been honeybees in this building forever. Somebody told me. They just told me, and we heard it before. I just happened to look up, and I see a very, very, very super productive hive of bees. You can tell that's not a swarm. They're not doing the same thing the ones I just caught. These bees are doing work they are going to and fro i bet you there is a ton of honey up there but that is a very old hive of bees apparently and if the bees i just caught came from a group like this this could be a good hive y'all y'all i would never dream that i would be this lucky to have a second swarm of the season. Yep. Thank you, Ryan, for going and picking it up for me. Thank you for your expert social media <laughs> connections. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it's good that you let people know that you keep bees because then they're going to tag you when they see a swarm. And that's what happened with this. And I'm so excited because now we have four beehives if this one stays. So this is our brand new nuke. We haven't even had a chance to set it up to catch a swarm. And uh, got this awesome mesh bag. Our friend sent us the nuke in the bags. There's a set of two of these bags. I think we're going to need another hive bottom or a whole nother hive now. Oh yeah, we need another, another one. We have boxes and we have some frames, but we don't have another bottom board so these guys are going to need to be upgraded pretty quick all right i don't have any protection on so i'm going to stay back <laughs> even though it's a swarm and they're pretty chill we uh gave our honeybees their frames to clean off after harvesting our honey they liked that a lot so those are ready to be picked up and put into cold storage or any storage really so he got them all in the swarm box I'm gonna back up some more <laughs> and taped it shut put the net over it just to be on the safe side and it's a good thing he did because there's quite a few on the outside even though he had it taped shut so that just shows you you can't be too careful Hello, crows. My crows are calling me. So 
So we're gonna set it up like it was a regular hive for now. And then we're gonna have to switch it into a 10 frame deep at some point. It looks like they're coming out from under the top lid. Uh, right on front, right in front where your hand just was. Oh, there is a little ventilation thing I forgot about. That would explain why they were getting out. <laughs> I should have taped it shut. Probably. All right. They are home. Yay. I wouldn't leave any of that duct tape on that hive box because it'll melt into it yeah, and make I'll it stained. I was just a little paranoid that before I yeah. did that, I couldn't do this until I had the lid on. Yeah. So I didn't want it sliding around. All right. I think I like what I'm seeing here. They look healthy and active. I want to say they're doing some orientation flights, but I'm not exactly sure what that looks like, but this kind of looks like what I would expect that to look like. So yeah, sorry, the camera is zoomed in way close because I don't have on a suit or anything, so I don't want to upset them. Sorry about the jiggliness. Kitty. Kitty. Hello. Hello, kitty.